you need some business credit and I got you covered because people come to me all the time. They're like, Terry, I need business credit. And I'm like, yes, come on, let's go. What do you need? And then it's crickets. Guys, write down these five questions. These are your funding goals. Understand your funding goals so you can have better results faster. Number one, how much money do you need? Is it 1,000, 5,000, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000? And be realistic about what you really need to help you level up your business. The goal is to leverage the built wealth, not to get into debt. Number two, what type of business credit do you need? Meaning, let's say you need you know, $5,000 for you know a Mac and a camera. Well, that can be a business credit card. That could be a business line of credit. That could be equipment financing. That could be a business term loan, right? So if there's multiple different things then understand that because maybe you don't qualify for a business line of credit but you do qualify for a business credit card for ten thousand dollars got it got it good step number three what are you going to use the money for this is critical do you need forty thousand dollars to hire an executive assistant do you need twenty thousand dollars to put a car on toro do you need five thousand dollars to get a marketing funnel what are you going to use the money for it's actually going to bring you back a return Number four, you know, how much money have you already gotten? Have you only ever gotten $2,000 in business credit and now you're asking for $100,000? What is that logical, right? So what's the next step up? Can you maybe go from 2,000 to 20,000 or 2,000 to 10,000, right? How much have you already gotten approved for? That will give you an idea of what you should be asking for. And number five, what are your personal and business credit scores, right? Understand where you are right now. When I'm gonna go back real quick to you know, what are you gonna use the money for? Let me give you another example. Let's say you are a coach. And let's say currently, you know, you have a full-time job, you're a single parent, and you see one client per month, and every client invests $1,000 in your coaching. So you're like, wow, I make great money, but I can only reach one client a month because, you know, I don't understand social media, you know, I don't know how to market, you know, I don't have the time to even kind of get to be an expert to reach more people. I need help. So you build up your personal credit, you build up your business credit, and you invest in a social media manager. And your goal is to have five clients per month, which would be $5,000. Dollars, guys. Now, this is where you got some business credit. Let's say you got a business line of credit. Let's say the monthly payment is $500, but your social media manager is now able to get you more exposure, help you grow your brand, take this off of you. And now you're getting five clients per month, six clients per month, seven clients per month, eight clients per month, which is $8,000. And all you did was invest in a social media manager who's like $500 or $1,000, guys. That's where you use the business credit for something that was going to grow your actual brand brand, give you some relief, give you a return and you have a surplus because then now you can invest in more services to grow even more. So what are you going to use the money for? And then the last thing is understanding your personal and business credit. Guys, pull your scores from Credit Check Total or my FICO, your FICO scores from all three bureaus and pull your business credit scores from NAV, NAV.com. So you can un kind of understand what you look like on paper before you apply for financing. Understand your funding goals. Answer these questions for yourself. That way you will have a better search, look at the right type of lenders, and honestly have better outcomes faster because you know what you're looking for. I hope that helps.